Donald Trump's last Republican rival, Nikki Haley, was the target of a second swatting attempt on New Year's Day, two days after a man called in a fake emergency at a South Carolina home that led to law enforcement pointing guns at Haley's elderly parents. The previously unreported case was documented in law enforcement records seen by Reuters on Monday. According to an incident report, a Charleston County Sheriff's deputy went to Haley's home on January the 1st, responding to a 911 call by someone who claimed Haley's daughter was lying in a pool of blood. The caller also claimed to be on the phone with Haley and said she was threatening to shoot herself. The document said the deputy spoke to a woman at the house who matched Haley's description and concluded the call was a hoax. Swatting is the filing of false reports to the police to set off a potentially dangerous response by officers. Cases have surged over the past months, targeting rivals and allies of Trump as he campaigns for re-election, as well as election officials and prosecutors and judges linked to his legal cases. Haley's first swatting incident on December 30th was made public by Reuters on Saturday. In that case, a man called 911 claiming to have shot a woman at Haley's home and threatened to harm himself. New details from the records received by Reuters showed her parents, aged 87 and 90, and their caretaker were home at the time. It said the sheriff's deputies presented their weapons and ordered a person seen through a second-floor window to raise their hands. After seeing two or three people raise their hands, a deputy spoke to the caretaker at the front door, who confirmed there was no emergency. In a TV interview on Sunday, the former UN ambassador said the incident put her family in danger, adding that it, quote, goes to show the chaos that's surrounding our country right now. Haley did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The sheriff's office has not publicly identified any suspects in the hoax calls.